told you have Alexius researching magic for you. Research is always what made him happiest. Perhaps I'll even go talk to him eventually. One word of advice. If he suggests altering time as a way to solve all your problems, give it a pass. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son? What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. This could be the Venatori. Lure us somewhere remote than an ambush. Perhaps. Although this does look like my father's penmanship. Or could he have joined the Venatori? No, that can't. Well, anything is possible. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. We've never talked about my family before. They're not happy with my choices, you see. Nor I theirs. What choices? Leaving to Vinter? That too. I think you should meet with this retainer. Find out what your family wants. I didn't ask what you thought, did I? That was unworthy, I apologize. There'd be no harm in hearing what this man of my father's has to say. If I don't like it, however, I want to leave. I'm having trouble imagining a scenario where you'd like anything he said. So am I, but who knows? Maybe my father has something new in mind. I can't believe my father's gall. Of course, he couldn't come here to Skyhold. No, that would be too much. But contacting some southern cleric on the sly, much wiser. If this is some venatory connivance, I will be utterly disappointed. I should go. I do rather like watching you leave. Let's look around. Well, let me know if you find All right. Me. You want to do more to help? Let's join the Inquisition. Do you mean it? Good day. Good day. The Inquisitor ended the war between the Mages and Templars. Good day. Do you think? Are you mad?
Uh-oh, nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. I should leave you to work this out. Oh, no, you don't. I want a witness. I want someone to hear the truth. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then? Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. So that's what all this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me, a trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me. He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but it's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I don't think less of you. More, if possible. The things you say. I mean it. My father never understood. Living a lie, it festers inside of you like poison. You have to fight for what's in your heart. I agree.
I see you enjoy playing with fire, Inquisitor. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me, Your Reverence. Oh. I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your Worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinter, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. Oh? I'd like to hear what these rumors are, exactly. I... could not repeat them, Your Worship. Repeat them? So, you've shared them before. I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. This sort of thing happens often, does it? <laughs> More than anyone tells you. No one knows their own reputation. Until someone helpfully informs them. There is that. She meant well, if that's of any concern. It does make me wonder. Is my influence over you undue? Perhaps. But it's the kind of undue influence I enjoy. No one accused you of being politically astute. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> I tease you too much, I know. Oh, I probably deserve it. I'll have to find something we can do that doesn't involve teasing. Soon, ideally. <laughs> <laughs>